Hello everybody and welcome. I'm Vera Lynn and this is Spiritual Findings. Today I'm going to show you a simple way on how to make a sleep spray. Now I use this when I'm having trouble sleeping or I really want to get into a deep sleep very quickly. You can use this when you're stressed. You can gift it for a friend. It's very easy to make, very simple. The only really investment are the oils, but if you already have them, that's great. Now you can play around with different scents. Today I am using eucalyptus and lavender. And instead of alcohol to preserve the oils, I prefer witch hazel. Okay, this is just a simple little bottle of witch hazel that I picked up at the dollar store. As well as these spray bottles too. Today I am using a two ounce spray bottle okay you can use these for travel I use I like to use the smaller spray bottles just because the oils and the water do separate so I feel like just making a big bottle is kind of inconvenient because you have to spray it up and when you have the little the little plastic piece that sucks it down from the bottom I prefer actually not even really filling the two ounce spray bottles, okay? And also, to shake things up a little bit, I'm throwing in some amethyst crystal pieces, also to add with the stress and helping you relax, as well as it really does help shake up those oils, okay? I apologize for my raspy voice. I am getting over being sick, so I am definitely going to use my lavender spray, um, my lavender eucalyptus spray tonight. Um, some of you guys can make this into a little spray spell put your intent on it you know um the more that you put into it the more i feel you're going to get out of it all right so let's get started i highly suggest you use distilled water and i am actually using some water that i have collected via mountain stream um just because i feel like it puts a little bit more blessing into it but it is pure water so i am only going to use one of these spray bottles <clears throat> I apologize on me being sick guys that's why I haven't been doing my daily divines is because like nobody wants to listen to a raspy voice while getting a daily divine tarot so if you guys who are tuning in from like another channel I do live streams for the tarot readings um, as well as I do pre-recorded each month for each zodiac trying to at least fall back into that routine but yeah so I didn't record lately I apologize spirit family because I've been trying to heal I'm recording this like shortly after Christmas before New Year too so I've got so much going on so so yeah I normally don't sound this this raspy it's kind of cool though <coughs> try to cough away from the microphone all right so I'm going to add these tiny amethyst pieces I don't know if it's like focusing in for you guys I'm just gonna add these in first like I said, this is just to help shake things up. All right, and first, um, I actually do not have a little dropper. I highly recommend you use one. Um, it's a little hard to judge with these things. So I am gonna just pop a, well, I'll do it like this. See if that works. Okay, so this here, is my eucalyptus okay all right so that is the eucalyptus i'm gonna add a little bit more i want definitely more eucalyptus smell than the lavender because the eucalyptus really helps me get to sleep i feel like the lavender i just want as like an undertone and that it right there is the beauty of making your own you know if you guys don't like lavender um i know a lot of people just may kind of say it just reminds them of like really bad soaps or you know so yeah if you don't like lavender don't add it so yeah just a little bit of lavender here i am making a mess but that's okay i really tried to find my droppers simple as that do it how you please guys all right so the witch hazel is just to make sure that everything is going to be preserved well I recommend that you store these in a dark cool place of course so right now I'm just going to do a couple drops 
All right. It's usually one tablespoon for eight ounces of water. Okay. And I am just going to fill my bottle. All right, I'm going to fill it not all the way because I can certainly still play with it if I don't fill it all the way, right? You can always add more, but you can't take it away. So that is what I have there. It already smells so nice. Okay, and as you can see, the little beads of oil in the air. Sorry, my dry winter hands. I gotta get that coconut oil going. It's been hard. <laughs> All right. So then just give it a shake. Okay. See, now you can see with a nice little shake how the oil is everywhere. So that's how you want to get it before you use it. Okay. So let's give it a shot, shall we? Oh, that smells so good. And as simple as that, guys. All right, just water witch hazel, your favorite oils. I added the gemstone just to help shake things up. Always make sure you shake it before you use it and keep it in a cool, dark place to help you preserve it, okay? Label it if you want to, give it out as a gift, keep it for yourself, like I said, enchant it, make it your own little spell, darling, put your own twist on it, all right? Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope to see you part of the Spirit Family. Go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell, join me for live streams, as well as don't forget about the community on Facebook. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Blessed be and merry dreams.